weekly contest minimum weighted subgroup with required path so problem states is we are given a graph a weighted and a directed graph what we want and we are also given three nodes src1 src2 and destination so what they want us to do is to find a subgraph of this graph such that it there is a path from src1 to the destination and from src2 to the destination so our task is to find the subgraph of this graph which is minimum weight so if we can if we sum up all the weights of edges of that subgraph that should be the minimum so let's understand this with an example let's say this is the graph these are the weights of the corresponding edges and source is 0 and 1 and destination is 5 so so source is 0 and 1 and destination is 5 so what they are saying is if we take this blue path like blue subgraph then that will be the minimum subgraph of this graph such that 0 and 1 is connected with 5 so we can see from 0 we can go to 2 then 1 then 4 and then 5 similarly from 1 we can go to 5 through this path so total sum of edges is 5 plus 1 6 plus 2 8 plus 1 9 so answer of the first sample is 9 similarly in the second sample source is 0 and 1 and destination is 2 so we are saying that there should be a path in the final subgraph such that 0 and 1 from 0 and 1 2 is reachable so that is not possible you can see from 1 we can't ever reach to 2 and similarly from 0 we can reach to 1 but not from 2 in the original graph itself so it is not possible for us to extract a subgraph of this such that 0 and 1 both are connected with 2 hence the answer is -1 so now coming to what can be the solution so let's say we have this uh, source 1 and source 2 and we have destination somewhere so we will have some path from source to destination and then we will have another path from source to destination so what you can see here is we want to extract the subgraph such that if we take the sum of all the edges then that will be minimum so the first question that you can ask is is it uh like let's say you are uh, visiting from source to destination via some path s1 to destination and you are visiting from s2 via some another path now once they collide is it optimal to take different path or is it optimal to take one single path notice that the weight of edges are positive so every time we are taking a edge it means we are increasing our cost so when there is first collision in the path from source 1 to destination and source 2 to destination we can say that instead of taking a different route we can go with the same route the other path is going so basically here what we are saying is this is the path so now s1 instead of going here instead of going here it will take 
the same route as H2. So that way we will be saving the cost of all the edges which comes under the other path or the other way around. Instead of uh, S2 going the other way around, it can take this path. So whichever is minimum, we can take that one. So hope this is clear. So with this argument, what we want to found, what we want to exactly find found is the junction point where they both will collide. So there will be a node in the path where they both will collide first and from there on they will travel together to the destination. So our answer will be the sum of all the edges here, sum of all the edges here and then sum of all the edges here. So in a way what we want to find is let's say the junction is J what we want to find is shortest path from S1 to J, shortest path from S2 to J, and then shortest path from J to D. I uh, hope this is clear. Like we want to find is shortest path from S1 to J, and then shortest path from S2 to J, and then shortest path from J to D. Right, so this will be the answer for any given j, and we will do this for every j and take the minimum, whichever is the minimum, we will take that. So now we can say that, like, what we want is uh, for every j, we have to calculate this thing. So, in a way, we are saying that what is the shortest path from S1 to every other node j, shortest path from S2 to every other node j and this we will come to later so these two things is easily calculated by the dextra so basically we want for shortest path from s1 to every other node similarly shortest path from s2 to every other node so if we run the dextra from s1 we will get this uh, shortest path from s1 to every other node similarly if we run the dextra with s2 we will get shortest path from S2 to every other node. Now for this shortest path from every node to D is something if you if you do the extra on J like for every J if you do the extra to calculate the shortest path till D it will be uh, you will require basically n number of dextras and for each dextra the complexity is roughly around n of log of ages so where we like n is the number of nodes and e is the number of ages so this will not work so instead of saying shortest path from j to d what we can say that shortest path from d to j but this we can this we could have said if the graph is not directed but here the graph is directed so the path that j will to it, j will take to go to d might not be similar that d will take to go to j so we will do this but on the reversed graph so we will convert this graph to something like this basically we will reverse every edges so this is pointing from 4 to 5 we will point it from 5 to 4 and so on so on this reverse graph we can say like we can we can say that shortest path from D to J will be equals to shortest path from J to D in this graph. Right? So finally what we want is three things. One, shortest path from S1 to every other node. Shortest path from S2 to every other node. We will run two dextras two iteration of extra for calculating these two and then we will reverse the graph and we will do another iteration of dextra to calculate shortest path from j to d from d to j now let's 
look at the code. So let's first discuss the time complexity. So time complexity will be we are uh, we are iterating like we are uh, iterating. We are doing Dijkstra algorithm three times. So one iteration of Dijkstra takes n log e, n is the number of nodes, n is the number of edges. So total three iteration of Dijkstra will take three log e, three into n log e, which is nothing but n log e. So total complexity will be n into log into e. So n in our case is 10 to the power 5. Number of edges in our case is again 10 to the power 5. So 10 to the power 5 into log of 10 to the power 5, which will pass the time complexity. So let's look at the code. Let's say you already have a Dijkstra algorithm implemented and the constructor of this class is taking a source and all the edges and whether to reverse the edges or not. So we will come to Dijkstra, but let's say this Dijkstra is already implemented for you. So what you will want is, we will want three Dijkstra from SRC1, then from SRC2 without reversing the graph, and then another from destination, but with the reverse graph. Once we have these three Dijkstra's, the shortest path from all these three nodes, we compute that uh, for every j, we compute this particular expression and take the minimum of all over all the j. So as discussed, like from source one to j, what is the minimum path? From source two to j, what is the minimum path? And from destination to j, on the reversed graph, what is the minimum path? And we take the minimum over all this and return the answer. And if you remember, there can be the case, there can be cases where a path may not exist. So if path doesn't exist in the Dijkstra implementation, I am filling it with infinity. So if answer is greater than infinity, so either this is infinity or this is infinity, I am returning minus one. So basically I'm saying that if there is no path from source one to destination, or there is no path from source two to destination, then simply return minus one. Now let's look at the Dijkstra implementation. So it is taking these four parameters, uh, source, number of nodes, all the edges, and whether to reverse this edges or not. So I am iterating over all the edges and then based on this reverse boolean value i am deciding whether to reverse it so basically from is pointing to 2 so whether to reverse it so that 2 will point to from or keep it same once the graph is built i am running the algorithm so the algorithm is very similar to dijkstra you can go through any other dijkstra algorithm video on youtube and learn what dijkstra is and of this video if you don't know Dijkstra, you can check them out. Now, just to reiterate over the solution, what we have done is we have uh, first made an observation that if the path from S1 to D and from S2 to D are colliding somewhere, then it is not optimal to take different path from there on because the weight of all the edges is greater than zero. If this not had been there, this condition would not have applied. But because this is true, we can say that we will not diverge from the first divergent point. And then we are trying to iterate over all the all such uh, meeting point from S1 to uh, like from S1 and S2. And finally, to calculate the last piece that is shortest distance from j to d we have reversed the graph and then calculated the dijkstra like applied the dijkstra on the reversed graph so this approach of reversing the graph is very common and if you remember in last week's contest as well this approach was used i will link the video in the description below so that you can check it out as well so hope this is clear 
if there is any doubts let me know in the comment section below and i will see you next week thank you